In a previous video, we had a look at using a selection to darken down and to tone an image, giving it much of a moodier look from this to this. I mentioned in that video how it's a great technique as well for producing black and white and toning a black and white image. So let's take a look at that. It was with this image that I first started to use this technique. First thing we need to do is to duplicate the background layer. We're going to use Command J, Control J. That's Command J, Control J. We've now duplicated the background layer. We're going to go to Image, Adjustment. We're going to go down to Desaturate, clicking on Desaturate, and there it is. There's your black and white image. OK, the start of it. We're going to go to the Channel Panel. As we come to the Channel Panel, we're going to click on this. We're going to come across to the RGB layer here. If you bring your cursor over this thumbnail, if you press Command or Control, pressing Command or Control, you get the square on the back. That means you're ready to make a selection. And when you click down, there is the selection. And when I first started to use this, I got that selection by, it was on a PC, by using the shortcut Control, Alt, Shift and Tilde. That's Control, Alt, Shift and Tilde. That gave me the selection. It was when I had this selection, I suddenly thought, hang on a second, to get the best out of it, we need to inverse it. So we're going to go to Select, Inverse. So round it comes, we've now got the darker tones through to the midtones, and we can come back to the Layers panel. And with the Layers panel, we're going to use an Adjustment layer. My favourite way of accessing the Adjustment layers is on the bottom layer here, this half black, half white, solid colour. Click on that. There it is. Fantastic, or what? Right, let's click OK, because we're going to take a quick look. We're going to come to the mask. I'm going to press Alt or Option, clicking on the mask, there's our negative black and white. Now we've got the whites. This is where it's going to be the solid color. As we come into the darker tones, this is where more of the underlying layer is going to start to show through. And that's what gives this effect. That's what really makes this effect work so well. So let's come back to the solid color. As we've seen, if we double click on this, we can start to bring this up. And as we start to bring it up, you can brighten it up, which doesn't always look good at this stage. But this is with the blend mode of normal. But changing the blend mode from normal, let's just take a look at multiply. And you can see the difference this makes to the picture. We can start to bring it down like that. Let's click OK. Let's switch off the black and white layer. Look at the way that works with the color layer underneath. Absolutely fantastic tones we get with that. Right, there's more. I mentioned tone in a picture. Let's double click again. Let's start to bring it out. As you start to bring it out, we're introducing reds into the image. Let's take a look at sepia. I'm just going to lift this up into this region here. There's our sepias. We can make the sepia darker by bringing it in. Let's click OK because switch off the black and white. Look at the way the sepia can actually work with your color image. Pretty good or what? But there's more again. If we come over and pick up the Move tool, because this will only work with the Move tool, what we're going to do is we're going to start to cycle through the blend modes. So I'm going to press and hold down Shift on the keyboard. We're now going to use the plus symbol. So using the plus symbol, you start to scroll through. Yeah, I'm not sure I like the way some of these are working, but as we come into the, uh, there it is, Overlay, that looks pretty good. Soft Lights, that looks even better. Hard lights, that's worth trying as well. Vivid lights, not so sure with that. Yeah, linear lights can look pretty good as well. As with all of these, try the opacity slider as we bring that in. I like the way that's working. Let's see what it's doing to the color image. And once again, really brings in some lovely colors and tones into that color picture. Right, let's uh, try something more sensible. Let's go back to soft lights. Let's just take the opacity up into that region. Double click, we can start to drop it into this area. There it is. I like that sort of tone in. There's more again. we got a black and white layer here. Let's click on it. Let's put in a layer mask. Now with the layer mask, we're going to come over. We're going to pick up the gradient tool. I've got the radial gradient. If I click in the window here, make sure you've got the foreground to transparent. So make sure I've got the foreground to transparent. It will not work foreground to background. So click on that little middle one here. Click OK to that. Bringing my cursor out. I've got the opacity at 70%. I'm just going to click down and we're going to light the fire. Fantastic or what? So a little bit of color popping as well. Switching it on or off by just pressing shift on the keyboard. Go on, give it a try. It's a great way of producing black and white images, toning your black and white images, even toning your color pictures as well. It really does work a treat. Experiment with the blend mode, experiment with the, the opacity. That's the key to, to this. And if you just come back up to multiply, you can see the way that's working there, just making it a little bit brighter. And perhaps that's the sort of image I'm looking. Click OK to that. Job done. 
go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it is Happy Imaging and take care.